Lindsay. And I'm Georgie. And we're the, the Happy, Happy Vegan, Vegan Couple. couple. <laughs> well, we got a new favorite. It's definitely a favorite of mine. The recipe we have to share with you has no added fats, no added sugars, a little bit of salt that, of course, you can leave out if you're watching your sodium level. And Georgie, what is it? It is a cheesy broccoli soup with no cheese. So delicious. <laughs> you know, I don't know how many of you have been making the dishes that taste like cheese with the right combination of vegetables and nutritional yeast. But you know, we keep trying them and I, sometimes I think, keep thinking they're getting better and better and better in terms of the flavor profile. I mean, this is really cheesy. It even smelled like cheese when Georgie was cooking uh. it. So just let me tell you something about broccoli because it's so great as a vegetable. Wonderful for heart health. It helps to relax your arteries, to let the blood flow through the way it should. It's cancer preventive. Mm -hmm. It's got this great antioxidant called sulforaphane and it's anti-inflammatory. But here's the thing that is actually helpful to know about cooking broccoli. So in order to get the benefit of the anti-cancer anti potential of it, we have this little enzyme in broccoli that has to activate, as I understand it, the sulforaphane. But if you cook the broccoli, that enzyme gets deactivated. But no worry, if you don't want to eat the broccoli raw, which would be fine to do, but if you would prefer to cook it like I do, what you need to do, according to Dr. Michael Greger, and he talks about this in his book, is that you cut up the broccoli. Let's say you get a fresh stock you know, from the store. Bring it home, you're gonna cook it now, but first chop it up and then wait. 40 minutes. Yeah, he suggests 40 minutes to wait. And what happens in that 40 minutes is that enzyme does a chemical reaction with the sulforaphane and activates it so that you can get all the potential of the anti-cancer benefits of broccoli. Now, if you like to buy already pre-cut broccoli from the store, Dr. Greger says the chemical reaction has already happened. So you don't need to sit there and wait, okay? So just keep that in mind when you're making, and it's also the same for the other cruciferous vegetables that have this antioxidant compound in it. So, uh, all right, I think we're, oh, I want to tell you one other thing. So that is also that when you want to see our recipes, just to remind you that they are posted at the end of the video. So you can fast forward to it if you want to see it right up front, mm -hmm. or you can just simply look at the comments in the YouTube page and we post the recipe there. Okay. So we hope you enjoy this wonderful soup watching Georgie cook it. And then we'll come back at the end. All right. Ready? I'm ready to cook it. All right. Let's do it. Okay everyone, let's get started on step number one for our cheesy broccoli soup, the sauce. Come up here and I'll show you my ingredients. First one is a red onion. You can use a yellow onion if you want. I'm using the red because of the high uh, antioxidant new, uh, properties involved in it. Then we got the potatoes. You can, I'm using a red potato today. You can use a yellow potato. They hold up better than a russet. And then you got chopped carrots and I left the skin on because they are organic and there are a lot more nutrients in that. Next one will be our cannellini beans. Next will be nutritional yeast, lemon juice, our seasonings, paprika, salt, and garlic powder. Okay, my, well, I want to show you real quick how I chop my potato. It's just real simple. I just like that right on top of each other. You want them pretty close to the same size. Voila, chop. Carrot, first thing I do, I wash it naturally. Cut the end off. Save all those good pieces. Now you got it, it's kind of small up to about right here. So I just cut this in half and I can dice that part. Get about the same size. The other part is a little bigger. So I will cut that in quarters. Okay, next step. Take the potatoes, the carrots, and the onions. We're gonna put them in our, in our pot here. And once we get all these in, I'm gonna 
show you. We're gonna pour enough water in this to cover the vegetables. That's about all we need to. Oh, so you don't need the rest on your cutting board? No, those are those are for over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had already ingredient. I just want to show you how all to right. cut them. So you just pour enough water in here to cover your vegetables. That should be plenty of water. Okay, your pot size will make how much difference in the, how much water you're gonna put on there. So now what I'm gonna do is put this on the stove. We'll come back in probably 15 minutes and we'll, I gotta keep an eye on it to make sure that they don't overcook. So we'll come back in a second. Okay, Georgie. Okay, everyone. My veggies have been cooking for 15 minutes. I started it on high at about, once it started boiling, I turned it down just a little bit because I didn't want it to overboil. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna strain them here. And we're saving the broth. If you wanna come up here, Denise, I got a potato. I just wanna kinda of show you the way it should fall apart. See how it just, just kind of mushed? That's what we want. Okay, and that's okay. all of them. That's the veggies. Okay. okay. Put it in our blender. I'm saving the broth because my recipe calls for one cup of the broth. I think that's about all we got left of that. Cannellini beans for creaminess. Nutritional yeast for cheesiness. <laughs> Lemon juice for a little bit of twang and our seasonings. For extra flavor. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna and put nutrients. This. People and don't nutrients. think about the nutrients and the spices. Exactly. I'm gonna put this on start blending. It's gonna take two or three minutes. Denise is probably gonna pause a little bit and we're gonna get this going. On about a five of my vitamins. took about three minutes on a number Let's five. see what that looks like. Look at that. So you want a very kind of creamy, smooth texture, that right? Looks, that looks like the creamy cheese. Yeah, it smells <laughs> like cheese, Georgie. Looks like creamy cheese. I just can't believe how, how okay, it smells so like. Okay, so from now, from now what I do is I just leave it in the blender. Then we're going to come back and I'm going to set up for the next part of the uh, process here. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay. Okay, everyone, step number two of this cheesy broccoli soup. The ingredients. Got broccoli. You can see little pieces there. We have carrot, red onion, garlic, mustard, fresh ground black pepper, almond milk. Unsweetened. Unsweetened. Uh, vegetable broth, low sodium. <laughs> Okay. Okay. What I want to show you first is how I cut my broccoli. This is when it comes like a crown from the store. What I do is I just cut the one end off, one piece. I don't. I don't. I've already cut up everything. I'll just show you. That's what you get out of it. Go up to about where it starts to branch off. Then you just take these little pieces and you can break them apart. Okay. Voila. Yum. Next, and I don't throw these away. I use this for soup or vegetable broth. I'm gonna do an onion. This is a red onion. First thing you do is cut the tops off, or the both ends, like that. Peel this outer layer. Gonna, we're gonna do dices. About quarter inch pieces. I start at one end, turn it over like that, there's my onion. Okay, my garlic, 
Use my shredder on the small side, up and down. I never. I don't remember. really worry about it. It's just for some reason doesn't ever cut me. So <laughs> I can never remember what side to use when I just a little the little bitty out. squares. Okay, glad you said it. Okay, our garlic. Okay, from this point, you showed everything. Okay. We'll take a pause and then we'll come over here, saute the onions and get the rest of it going. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna saute my onions. I turned the pot on high a minute ago to get it going. See if this is hot yet. It is there. Now, but how much veggie broth are you putting I, in, Georgie? I put two tablespoons right now. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna add my onions. And we're gonna saute these on high and we're gonna stir constantly. Probably take about, I would say two minutes, so if you wanna pause, I'll come back and show you. This is what it's looked like going in, okay? All right, so, we'll take a little pause. A couple minutes. Okay. okay. Nice and caramelized. All right. Gonna add my garlic. Move that around a little bit. That's gonna start smelling. Mm. Okay, from here I'm leaving it on high, my vegetable broth, and it's two and a half cups. My carrots, and my four cups of broccoli. Gonna stir this around a little bit. We're gonna get this to boiling. We're gonna turn it down to a medium simmer for about, I would say 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I'll let you know exactly what it is. There's what the rest of it looks like there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once we get it boiling, like I said, I'll turn it down to a medium, cook it for approximately 15 minutes. I don't wanna overcook it because I want some crispiness to my vegetables. So. We'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, everyone, my stuff, or my vegetables have been cooking for eight minutes. You can see them nice and cooked. It all depends on the size of your carrots, how long it takes. And my carrots weren't very, very big. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two cups of this, mix it into my cheese sauce. Blend it up for a second. Get those nice and blended. About a minute or so, Georgie? I, I don't even know if it'll be that long because these are already cooked, so be patient with me. Don't take long at all. Okay, 30 seconds. So what, now, do, what do we want it to look like? How do we just know to get when it in it's there. done? You can see it. Just oh, to get that the, it's all blended. That it's all blended, yeah. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna add our almond milk. Do I do that? Wait, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my almond milk, my black pepper, and I'm just cracking it out of here fresh. I'd say about a half a teaspoon, all the taste. My mustard. Okay, and I'm gonna blend that for a second just to blend it in. Soup, right? right. Well, or uh, a yeah. cheesy soup, right? Yeah. Cheesy sauce with some okay. of the soup. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just adding this to the, my, the rest of my veggies here. And that's the last step. And then you can just cook it for a few cook minutes it. to warm it through, Yeah, I'm, right? I'm gonna cook it probably about five minutes on a medium. Don't need to boil it or anything. Stir it up.
this before I cook it. Okay, why don't you show me with the spoon the rest of the veggies in there so we can see how it looks. Now, tilt it, Georgie. Can you tilt it more towards Oh, me? I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, so we can see those other vegetables. Yeah, in there. there's no the broccoli, left the carrots. Okay. Okay. So Let you me have some this. chunks left in it. Yes. Oh yeah. That's that was the, that's the main purpose. I don't want to. I don't want soup, soup, soupy. I want some chunks in it. So. Okay. Okay. Five minutes. I'll cook it. All right. Okay, everyone. My soup cooked for five minutes. It is finished. I took some Dave's Killer Bread, put some cashew cheese on it, grilled it up a little bit to give me something to eat with my soup. And let me just show which kind of bread we, we, got, we the, there's the Dave's, several types Dave's, of Dave's Killer Dave's Bread. Dave's Killer Bread, the 21 whole grains and seeds. And it's all organic. All organic. And that's our cashew cheese. That's our we cashew just, cheese right there. I always I have that in that. the fridge ready to use. Okay. And all you do is just spread it on your bread and grill it and that's what it looks like. Yeah. Nice and great. And that, let's see how that right. soup looks. There's our okay. soup, look at that. Get a carrot and a broccoli, and I'm gonna give it a taste. Okay, hope it's not too hot. Wow, it's very, very cheesy. <laughs> it's amazing how cheesy it is. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you try it. Give us a holler when you try it. We'd like to know how you feel about it, okay? Well, there you go, another great cooking video with Georgie at the <laughs> counter doing all his stuff. But tell me, honey, how cheesy was that soup? It was cheesy, unbelievably cheesy. You know, Denise, it, I just, it was, I can't, I'm amazed how cheesy the flavor comes out. With I know, and, it, and like I said, it even smelled cheesy as you were blending it up. Yeah, and if, if you wanted a little bit tasty, I mean, more cheese to flavor to it. Just add some nutritional yeast to it. Yeah, That's we all might, you have to do. I mean, you can cheese it up some yeah. more. Just throw in, like you said, some more nutritional <laughs> yeast more. if you want. But, you know, we we just loved it even the way it was. It so was great. It was it's just good. Okay, everybody, so that's it. We hope that if you like our videos, please subscribe to us on YouTube. We'd yes. love to have you do that. And you'll get the notification every time we put one out. So until next time, I'm Denise. And I'm Georgie. And we're the, the Happy, Happy Vegan, Vegan Couple. couple. And go just, plant based. Yes, go plant based. <laughs> but I'm just reminding you the video, uh, the recipe is at the end of the video and also on the comment page on the YouTube link in the comments. Okay? Yes. We'll All say right. one more time. Bye, everybody. Go plant based. Yeah, go plant based. <laughs> Best thing you can do for you, the animals, and of course, our planet. Yes. Bye. Bye bye.